Motion paths are what you see in your comp window when you create animation. And you can use the motion path of your objects to actually build animations. So what I'm going to do is create a solid, as usual. I'll make it yellow-ish. Make comp size, and I'm simply going to scale it down like this. I'm going to twirl open the property for position by hitting P down here in the layers. And I'm going to move this guy over to the left and click on the stopwatch. As you can see, we have our keyframe here. I'm going to move my current time indicator over. And I'll grab this box and move it over like so. So that we have two keyframes down here. Now I'm going to click on one of these keyframes here. And I'm going to just take this little dot here. And I'm going to show you that we have this little motion path. And I'm going to grab this one as well. And I'll move it down. So we have this dot here. And we also have the first dot, which represents our keyframes. And as you can see, when I scrub the playback head, we see the path of the animation. And all I have to do is click on this path. And you can see that we have it here. And we can change the direction of our animation by simply grabbing one of those paths. And you notice that by doing that, I create another a keyframe here. So I can move my box here. I can move it up. And you'll see that we have these handles that represent the curve of this path. So as you can see, if you watch when I scrub the playback head, we can see all the positions of the motion path itself. Whenever you have a curve, you're given these handles here. And these handles allow you to change the direction of the path. So I can create animation in several ways. I can, of course, add keyframes by moving objects, like so. And I could, of course, move my current time indicator and change the position here as well. So I can scrub, and I can move things. And I can also, of course, change the motion path itself. So that's just a little quick tip that you might want to use when you're animating. Not only do you have to use these numbers, but you can also interactively change things by simply moving the current time indicator where you want and making some kind of change to your object. Don't forget, whenever you have a curve, you will then have your handles here, the kind of handles you'll find in Photoshop or in Illustrator that give you the ability to change the tangency of this handle along the path. So I can now change the entire feel of that animation by simply realigning the way those handles sit on the curve. And that's a quick look at how to use the motion path in conjunction with the keyframes.